Okay, let's let's see what we can do here. One touch, one touch. I'm going around, going around. All I need is one touch to the butt here. Hey, what's going on guys? Phil here. Welcome back to another Mecha Online favorite build review. We're going to be talking about the Cicada today. And as we make our way down, we of course came upon this. I love the Cicada. I've loved the Cicada the entire time it's been out. Um, and well, it's hard. It's so hard for me to pick a favorite. You've got the 3M with the you know ninja capability. And you guys know me. I love the UAC 5 build and the rack build with uh, you know medium lasers for backup. Uh, the 2B and the 2A used to be quite different and distinct. Obviously, the 2A having six energy and the 2B having five. And then the weapon placement, right? The 2B with the arms and so forth. So I settled on the 2A. And this is actually a more recent build. Uh, obviously, it still holds the same principles, which is it has six energy for uh, torso mounts. And it used to be six medium lasers or six ER medium lasers. Now I've shifted over to medium pulse. This basically gives the ability to again do what I was doing with um, the 2B, but with a little bit more punch because of the additional medium pulse laser. Things that I love about the Cicada are probably not what everybody loves. And so let's go ahead and talk about the pros and cons. I love the shape of the mech. I think it's absolutely fantastic, especially when it comes to the torso here. It reminds me basically of a tank turret. That's, you know, it's... It's got its squat, right? It's not too wide. It's got these armor plates on the arms. I've always wished these were a little bit bigger, especially to protect the uh, actual torso location. Um, and it's got a great top speed. Being a 40 tonner, uh, being able to go those higher speeds, again, survivability, uh, you know, we're running XL engines on this and so forth and so on. Now, the negatives here are the legs, right? The legs tend to be very squishy. If you know what you're doing, go for the legs. Uh, and the, the mech is a little bit boxy, but for the most part, I've always made this work for my playstyle. And the playstyle is really unique here. It's, uh, again, people, you know, look at the Cicada and they don't realize it's a skirmisher. It's there to pop around a corner, be pinpoint accurate, and then run off. You know, uh, the cool thing is with this setup too is you can engage smaller targets all the way up to the bigger targets. So there are some vulnerabilities here and there's some cons, but the pros... I just find it's a great mix of firepower, speed, and maneuverability. Now, I will say this. This mech is not for everyone. This mech lives on the knife's edge, if you will. And I think that's what makes it really cool is because to get the most out of this mech, you are going to have to put in effort and work. But when you do that, man, sometimes the matches are absolutely fantastic. So. Let's go ahead and just quickly take a look at it in the mech lab, just because again, it's pretty straightforward. XL300 uh, with four additional uh, double heat sinks, six medium pulse. We are rocking Pharaoh, uh, Indo, and double heat sinks. You can see I dropped some armor off the arms. Again, these are more just there to absorb any damage that comes your way. A lot of the times, of course, you're facing your target because you don't have any arm mount um, flexibility. So. There we have that. Um, we're going to go ahead and drop in a match, showcase what this mech is capable of. And for those that watch my streams, uh, again, I stream Monday through Friday, 12 to 6 p.m. Eastern over at twitch.tv forward slash NGNGTV, link down below. Uh, you've seen me literally play this thousands of times. And, this, you know, it's just one of those things where I love this mech. I think it offers so much, but it's not for everyone. But this is my favorite build, at least right now. And it was really tough for me to decide this over the Cicada 3M. But I went with this just because, um, well, I enjoy it as well. It gives me a little bit different play style from the stealth, um, you know, not stealth, the ninja, you know, um, sort of skirmisher um, with a UAC-5 or RAC-5 and mediums as well. Um, and there are some other setups as well, UAC-10 uh, on the 3M and snubs as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into a match, show this in action and see, maybe just maybe it becomes your favorite build. Who knows? Shut down. All right, Sequence here we go. And of course, for those that don't know, I hit override at the very beginning. I'd rather not shut down in front of enemy enemies and potentially take damage internally. This kid rides that line to where it can take an override once. I have my uh, weapon group split between left and right. And that also includes the uh, medium pulse in the CT. So I have group uh, one as the three and group two. And then for group three, I have the medium pulse. Now I do this because that gives me a little bit more finite control. If I'm riding that, um, you know, heat line, 
It gives me the ability to apply a little bit more damage and for those XL checks or the ability to defang something or something like that and you don't need to do an alpha. So just tossing that out there. Uh, make sure to practice so you know how to utilize it the best. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and push up here. Again, you're not rocking ECM. You're not a long range mech, 266 meters. Right, that's not a whole lot. Again, we saw a target over there. Let's go ahead and, yep. So we're not trying to poke play, especially against ranged targets. We're waiting for our teammates to roll in. Just trying to provide as much information as we can. Again, we don't have anything close here. You do have a lot of uh, flexibility as far as speed, even with the uh, 121 and a half KPH that I have here. Looks like we had a strike behind us. Um, we got to watch uh, down there. We've got uh, more off than not, right? F7, they go down to Death Valley. Let's see if they're playing a little bit more passive. Engaged. Okay, we do have a Kodiak. That's probably a Quad Goss. That's probably what that is. And he's probably just going to sit up there until someone presses him. So we'll see here. Again. Okay, well, I hear you, man. Returning some fire. Baloosh. Target engaged. Just sort of be patient. It's it's amazing how impatient people are. Just be patient. Let's see where things where things go. Obviously, that RB has an LB10. It's a K9, which is weird that that's all it has. We have a lot of long range fire. It looks like those are those may be light PPCs. Let's go ahead and just sort of be patient. Let's see what happens here. ECM, um, ECM E7. ECM E7, our Piranha is engaged. Yep, yep, yep. There he is. It's Commando. It's UAV as well. I just scratched him there. He's got another bit of ECM. He needs to get out of there. That dude's in, in trouble. Uh, Death Valley. Valley! Target oh. engaged. Again, as I'm typing. Normally I use VoIP, but when I'm recording, I do not hear. All right, let's go ahead and push up here. The ranges are starting to shorten here. I'm gonna go ahead and push over here. I'm gonna be very careful. Okay, he is rocking the quad goss, so I'm not gonna poke out on that side. I just don't want to take a hit. All right. Looks like they're they're being aggressive right here, which is great. They just need to go all in, right? And I gotta be very mindful of that Kodiak is up there, and we're about to get pincered if we don't push here. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop that UAV. UAV's up. We're in a weird spot where if we don't we don't take these guys out, we're gonna have some problems. Okay, spread damage here. He's not looking at me, the Atlas. He's looking at the bigger boy. There we go, like I said. And now we're getting pushed from behind. This isn't good. We have to choose a direction to go. We have to choose a direction to go. I mean, regardless if there's a Kodiak shooting us, or not, again, he can pretty much take me out in one volley, so I gotta be really careful here. Someone else needs to pressure him. Do we have anybody here? No, we don't. Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. Alright, now, I gotta be really careful um, that he doesn't catch me in the back here. So, I'm gonna try to maneuver away from his angle. There we go. Okay, I'm through. Ooh, okay. But again, here we go with all those. Again, this is a weird spot. If no one pressures him, he's just gonna be up there doing his thing and getting back shots. And again, all it takes is one, one volley. So again, I'm just gonna keep wiggling here. I feel like we have to be super aggressive right here to win this. That's a LB10. Herbie, right arm on him. All right, all right, closing in. This is gonna be, this is gonna be spicy. Let's see if we can do it. Again, really good at hill poking. Right? Okay. Use the strengths. Oh, it's another cicada. Four light peeps. Interesting. Again, that thing freaking hurt. Okay. It's a 3F. He's crit CT now. That thing is dangerous. It, I mean, it can pop me, especially uh, all that pinpoint. So I just got to be careful here. To, I'm trying to find this Herbie. Okay, Herbie is going to range. There we go. His right torso CT is open now. And again, I'm scratching him, but that's a damage, right? That Ebna back there is pretty fresh. 
Target engaged. And I don't want to run out in the open here. Just watch our six. Target engaged. That Evan's having a bad day. I wonder if I can help out here. Is it Marauder? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll help out. I'll help out. I'll help out here. Oh nope, nope. I won't. I won't help out. I won't help out. Legged. Okay. Decisions were made. I committed. I do have a friendly following. Nice, 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 nice. I had, a, I had a friendly follow me. That's good. That's good. Uh, let's see. Repositioning here. And again, me catching that, that four light peeps to the face was not, was not good. Okay. Okay, let's push in here. Delta. He's having a bad day. That cicada. I gotta watch out for that cicada up top. There he is. Now, I can press. Oop, he's got a buddy. He's got a buddy. Something just dropped as well. Let's go for his torso here. His torso. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. He's almost down. He's almost down. I'm gonna go for a rear shot. Come on, come on. Drop down. Drop down. Right in front of him. Got him. Oh, oh, nope. Commando. I've got a commando right here. Alright, this is a little dangerous. Right, I'm riding that line, man. I'm riding that line. That Irby's one touch. I gotta be aggressive here. I gotta be aggressive. Okay, that RB drop. Got him, got him, got him. Nope, 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 nope. That cicada is still up there. Okay, let's let's see what we can do here. One touch, one touch. I'm going around, going around. All I need is one touch to the butt here. Okay, he's down. Cicada's up here. He's crit CT. Oh, boy. We got it. Wow, what a good match. Obviously, a good showcase as well for the build. Man, uh, that will make you uh, work for it. So with this, I will point out I made a few mistakes. One, obviously, I poked against that cicada. That cicada punished me at the very beginning with those four light peeps. That's 20 damage pinpoint, and you have like 600 some odd range. So obviously, I didn't know he had light peeps, and but that was a mistake. As soon as I realized that, again, I was trying not to trade with him. And so it's one of those things where uh, it was a lesson learned, right? So that is how you play that mech. Again, we're on a knife's edge the entire match there. But being a scalpel, you have so much capability. Um, but that's what makes this build so exciting. So again, uh, hands down, a fantastic showcase of what the build is capable of in the right circumstance. So again, the breakdown of that match was quite interesting, right? And and again, you have to know your strengths and weaknesses. The weakness of this mech is, of course, like I mentioned, the physical stuff, but also the, the fact of you only have uh, X amount of range, right? You're using medium pulse, uh, right? So in your skill tree, you're going to want to increase your cooldown, your heat gen, and your laser duration. Now, keep in mind, uh, survivability is also a factor. Keep in mind, you want to go that 60% radar deprivation. Outside of that, that's really up to you. I like uh, going DPS on the medium pulse. It gives me that knife ability to deliver the firepower to one location. And you saw there that that was actually what clutched uh, the difference. People aren't expecting that much pinpoint from a 40 tonner to one location. Again, as we were engaging, you saw me reposition a lot, especially at the end there. Right? You have the speed, 121 kph with the XL300. To be able to maneuver, we maneuvered on the um, trebuchet. Had no idea we were there. We also maneuvered on the cicada. Uh, just keep in mind that, again, speed is your friend. Don't stand still. You don't have the range. You can't trade with anything like that as well. And be patient. Sometimes we had to you know, let the match play out. I mean, we were all over there from the central area down to Death Valley up above Death Valley, and then we're coming back to that perch where the uh, the Stargate is too. So this is a fun build. I know a lot of people are hesitant about it because you have to work for it, but again, you can get these magical moments in Cicada. In this particular case, the 2A with the six medium pulse is absolutely fantastic. So 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, subscribe if you haven't, of course, and leave me a comment down below. Do you have a favorite cicada or are you just, uh, you know, not a fan? I don't know, but this is my favorite build. There are some others of, like I mentioned earlier, just let me know down in the comments down below and I will check those out. And who knows, maybe I'll find another cicada setup that I like. I definitely will check out that 3F with the 4 uh, light PPCs. Again, because you have jump jets, it's the only cicada that has it. Uh, we may be able to give that a go. So anyways, I hope you guys found this uh, video uh, you know, entertaining, not to mention educational about the cicada and the swarm. And uh, yeah, I just want to say thanks again for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. Until next time.